10 laps to go. It's down to Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney now. Blaney's been able to close up, probably especially because with uh, Kyle Lars with Kyle Larson being held up by Joey Logano. He's trying to keep his lead lap position. Also a teammate for Blaney. Kyle Larson has led 267. Dominated the race. Blaney inching up bit by bit. Check up a bit for that lapped car. It's gonna cost him. And Blaney's gonna go for a pass. Go. He's gonna make it. He's not gonna get it, but it's close with nine laps to go. Where really well. And Blaney is going to take the lead. Whoa, lead change. Whoa. Almost a collision. Yeah, that was close. Will it stick? But now with the 22 affect the 12 team. Yeah, I'm, no, I bet. No, Logano will let, probably let Blaney buy. I just see the five car going away. Yeah, you know, he talked about Yeah, Blaney's kind of, yeah, I think Larson was looks like he's kind of spent. Dominated the race. But, yeah. I hate it when that happens, but, you know, that's what happens. Yeah, uh, unless there's a caution, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious going to win now. Which sucks for me as a Hendrick Motorsports fan, but racing deals are like that. Yeah. Well, again, earlier we talked about this. You look for opportunities to make this pass and pounce on that guy, right? And eight to go. Fourth time in career, he won the first stages, and he failed to win the race the last three times he did it. Man, there's any consolation you've got. No indication of the flagman, and LaJoy makes it down to the track apron. As the signal goes out for Ryan Blaney, five laps to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I wish it was a caution, but... LaJoy makes it around to pit road. Yeah. And out of harm's way. Damn. Ford won the last four and there goes his other uh, Penske, that's other Penske teammate, Brad Kozlowski. I did not have Blaney making my playoff because I didn't think he'd win a race, but clearly I will be proven wrong. And four laps to go. Mustangs going for five, and our streak of different winners would extend to six. Mike, I guess I shouldn't have bought those victory donuts. You're looking good. The whole time here, I was like, no, we're gonna have a repeat winner, and Kyle Larson has been dominating this race. And boom, out of nowhere, basically. Oh well. Exactly. But Jeff, he's been good all day. Kyle Larson has been great all day. But Blaney and that number 12 team is good when it mattered. Oh, wow. You win some, you lose some. And in this case, we're going to lose some. Very consistent, and here he is. That's why we race. You win. Yes. We race every like, lap. It's never over till it's over. As we're proving right Like, unless he cuts a tire or runs out of gas. If you're Kyle Larson, you're surrounded in Pinsky. Yeah, that's the other problem. Logano there, Kozlowski there. Yeah. Two laps to go. This is really going to happen. Dang. Yeah, Larson just trying to get around the Penske cars. Because last giving is two laps down. Yeah, but unless something catastrophic happens. White flag! Ryan Blaney takes the white flag. Presented by Credit One Bank. 
Well, next flag into the race. Yes. 27 years old from High Point, North Carolina. From last June at Talladega. Previous best finish here for it. Wow. Hung around the top for most of the race. He's going to pull it off here. Ryan Blaney wins the Folds of Honor Quick Trick 500. His Ryan first Blaney win in Atlanta. His fifth career win. In a shocker after Kyle An upset Larson victory. Yeah, Kyle Larson second. Alex Bowman third. Denny Hamlin fourth. Kyle Busch fifth. Austin Dillon sixth. Chris Buescher seventh. Martin Truex Jr. eighth. William Byron ninth, and Kevin Harvick, who was a lap down for the beginning of the race, in 10th. Mike, you said it. He was up at the booth for both races, truck race and the Xfinity yeah, race. I have to, I'm have on a tight there. schedule, so I can't, right I don't really have and time to record lines. the post-race interview. That is the most but excited how about that? Ryan Blaney pulling off the upset and proving that he does deserve a spot at Penske, because I've been doubting him for a little bit. But he pulled it off today. Good for him. I'll see you next time on Wednesday for the iRacing Dirt Bristol, and have a good night, y'all.